Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with a little status report on my experiences using the Galaxy S6 and how to better combat some of the issues that we've got with the storage, the built-in storage and the non-upgradable storage on this phone. Now, I've recently started playing with a Kumba cam. This is a really cool gimbal smartphone stabilizer, provides for some awesome steady cam style shots. And I actually do kind of like the video on the Galaxy S6 a little bit better than I like the video on the LG G4. Plus, the slightly smaller dimensions on the Galaxy S6 are a little bit easier to fit into this cradle here on the Kumba cam. So it just made sense to use this phone to showcase a video production product. And to show off the Kumba cam, I've been shooting the highest possible quality video that I can from this phone, which means that UHD video gets really, really big. That dinosaur video I showed you is one minute long and is 366 megabytes in size. That means less than three minutes of UHD video is going to be one gigabyte. And seeing as how this phone starts you off with only 24 or 25 gigabytes of storage once you first boot it up, with nothing else installed on this phone, that means you can only really shoot about an hour of video. Using this phone out in the field, there are two products that I've been relying on to offload video and photos when I need to free up space. Let's say you recently upgraded to the Galaxy S6, but you still had a micro SD card lying around from a previous phone. About a year ago, I reviewed this little guy. This is the Leaf micro SD card reader. It's got a micro USB port so that you can connect it to your phone. You just take your old card, you pop it in this little slot right there, you gotta get it to click in. Then you take your phone and you connect it to the USB port down at the bottom. You're gonna see that little light flicker on. And the Samsung File Manager fires right up. Now the Samsung File Manager is pretty good but I still prefer using Astro. This is my favorite file manager. It really easily connects to a lot of my cloud storage and social media networks. And now in Astro, we've got two very clearly defined locations for the primary phone storage. And then this other thing here, which is another SD card, and we can see what was on this older SD card. It's a handy little solution. And if you've got a fast memory card, you get pretty quick data rates. So here, we're gonna take that 300 and 66 megabyte file. I'm just gonna long press on that here. I think this is the copy. Then we're gonna move to the card and I'm just gonna dump it right here at the top level of the card. We're gonna hit paste. It seems to be transferring in uh, 10 to 20 megabyte chunks. 140, 156. You can see that little light flashing away as it's doing the data transfer. We're almost there. 366 megabytes of data have just been transferred to that card. Now this is a pretty fast memory card. This is one of the Transcend 600 speed cards. But if you have a reasonably quick memory card lying around, you can use a product like this to offload data. Short little chunks, make sure that you don't clog up your phone storage. Shopping the Leaf online, you can usually find them online for between 10 and $15, which is not a bad price to pay to recycle a memory card, which probably cost you more than that. And when we're done with that data transfer, we're just gonna come to our USB mass storage in the notification tray. We're gonna tap on that. It's gonna flicker a little bit and USB mass storage can be safely removed. We're gonna pop that out. Let's say you don't have a memory card lying around and you don't wanna invest in a memory card and a memory card reader. Thanks to the power of USB host, you can use a traditional USB flash drive with your Galaxy S6 II. Of course, this full-size USB port is too large to plug into the micro USB port on the bottom of the Galaxy S6, so we're going to need some kind of an adapter, and this is what a micro USB to full-size USB female adapter is going to look like. It's a very simple affair. This is going to plug into the bottom of your phone, this is gonna plug into a USB device, and you can use these for a variety of different pieces of hardware. So I'm just gonna take my flash drive here. I'm going to pop it into the full-size port first. I'm going to line this up with the port on the bottom of the phone. going to punch that in here. The little blue light is flashing on the flash drive, and the Samsung File Manager has fired up. Again, I'm going to back out of that, switch over <laughs> to Astro, and uh, when I go into my locations on Astro, I've named my Kingston flash drive Kingston because I'm not very original, <laughs> and I'm going to tap on that. I set up a folder as a temporary drop here, and this is actually the folder that I used to catalog all of the footage that I was shooting from this really super awesome Kumba cam rig. This is playing UHD video from the flash drive stutter free, which is pretty incredible performance when you think about it. And again, I'm just gonna come down to this little USB mass storage note in my notifications, gonna tap on that, I'm gonna get the little pop-up. 
right there and we can disconnect this cable here. Again, this is like a $2 cable and it brings a lot of versatility to your Android smartphone or tablet. So folks, this is the little tableau of products I'm having to keep on hand to offset the built-in storage, the non-upgradable storage on the Galaxy S6, but it's not as terrible as I really thought it might be moving back to a phone with locked down storage. Thankfully, Android has supported USB host for a while now. So popping in a cable or a little memory card reader, offloading files that I don't need anymore, it's a pain. I wish that I had a memory card built into this phone, but it's still a workable solution if you've decided that the Galaxy S6 is the right fit for you, but you also want to shoot tons of super high quality video and photos. The 5.1 update for the Galaxy S6 is going to bring raw photography, which means each of those photos is going to be saved as a large JPEG and a super large raw file. If that's a feature you really want to use, I think it would be a good idea to have some kind of memory management solution ready to go, especially as you can't rely on the cloud for super large files like that without destroying your battery life and possibly wrecking your data plan depending on what carrier you're on. So folks, that's been a real world update on how I've been using my Galaxy S6. Be on the lookout because I'm gonna have a full review on the Kumba cam coming out soon, which sort of inspired this video here. And I'll of course leave some links down below this video where you can shop some of these solutions like the Leaf memory card reader and a micro USB to USB host cable. As always folks, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more tutorials and reviews like these. And I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't out there sharing my videos on social sites like Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and the Googles Plus. So please keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you all on the next video.